I feel better when I know that my horse has a well-fitting rug on. Okay, I would love my horse to be without a rug because um, there's nothing that fits better than his own coat. So sometimes they need a little bit extra uh, when they're ill or when they're old um, or for some other reason. And then it's brilliant to have a good fitting rug or blanket for your horse. So here is how I made mine. Welcome to this DIY on how to make your own well-fitted wool rug for your horse. Uh, get yourself a lovely wool blanket. I got mine from a, from a thrift store. Uh, put your old blanket on top of it and then just cut around it. Very simple. And then when you remove your old blanket, you've got the perfect shape left for your new one. And you can start thinking about how to decorate it with stars. Or something else. Or just leave it blank. So, I've sewn shut the front because I want to pull it over his head. I don't need a closure there. And I've sewn in some darts. One dart here for the front. And I've sewn a, an extra piece in here um, for his withers. Hi, cat. Silly cat. And at the back, I kind of did the same. Uh, a dart in here and a dart on his bum to give the blanket a bit of a rounded shape, as you can see where his bum is going to be. And like I said, on the front as well, you want some room for his shoulder and not the neck. You don't want the neck to be gaping. So, and today we're going to have a fitting. Let's see if it fits. Right, so that's our first fitting of <laughs> <laughs> of the blanket and as you can see it fits beautifully around here on his neck and with a little um, part for his withers that's I'm really really happy with that the length I think it's a bit too long I want it to be snug on his belly and I got a load of fabric left on there and then his bum these darts could be way much shorter or uh, way much more taken in and I'm actually going to cut that right now with the scissors these are not my best scissors but they'll have to do good pair of scissors so always bring a good pair of scissors when you're fitting a blanket to your horse and I'm gonna mirror that on the other side when I get home with a good pair of scissors So here's an update on the blankets. I've sewn one of these on, that's gonna keep the his bum cord in place. I've um, shortened it where it needed shortening. I've reinforced the front with a nice fancy gold bit I had laying about. And also um, the neck reinforced that with some tape. 
The very last thing to do um, for this blanket is attach some sew singles or chinches or whatever you want to call them. I needed a 5 centimeter width band and I only found a 6 or a 4. So I went for the 6 and um, attached the clasps with a piece of leather. Um, and as you can see, this is less wide than the webbing. So um, there's a solution to everything in this case. And it's elasticated. I'm not sure that will make a difference because it's very, 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 very tough elastic. And I think the wool blanket is more stretchy than the, than the webbing. So I don't think this will uh, use a lot of stretch. And I think it's really comfortable for my horse as well. Now on the other side of the blanket I of course attached uh, the other pieces to the sew singles and these are actually left over from old blanket. I never ever throw away an old blanket without getting all this stuff off of there because you can always reuse it. And this is what I'm reusing it for. I also have the adjustable uh, things left which I didn't attach because I need five centimeters and not six centimeters so these straps are actually not adjustable I measured them to fit my horse as the entire blanket is measured uh, to fit my horse so everything is completely made to measure and hopefully it will fit in beautiful so I'm off to the stables now to do a fitting of this I hope you can hear me over the rain and the wind because the weather has taken a turn for the worst. Uh, Mr. Cranky Pants is behind me. He's cranky because I had to treat his legs again. Uh, and I'm going to fit the blanket on him and hopefully it's a success. If not, you won't see this in the vlog. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed our little tutorial and if you have any questions about how to make your own wool well-fitting rug for your horse then just let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer all your questions. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, click the like button if you like this video and don't forget to release your inner viking and I'll see you next time. Bye!